Understanding Sin of Wrath in English. Hello everyone, today we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, Sin of Wrath. This phrase is rich in meaning and history, and understanding it can add depth to your English comprehension. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how it's used in modern English. Sin of Wrath refers to one of the seven deadly sins in Christian doctrine, representing extreme or uncontrolled anger. The term, wrath, is an old-fashioned word for anger, especially a violent and intense form of anger. In this context, the sin aspect implies that such anger is morally wrong or spiritually harmful. The concept of the seven deadly sins, including wrath, has its roots in early Christian teachings. These sins were thought to lead to eternal damnation if not repented. The idea was to caution believers against behaviors that could damage their spiritual well-being. Over time, these concepts have permeated literature, art, and culture, giving us a rich tapestry of references and interpretations. From Dante's Inferno to modern films and novels, the concept of sin of wrath has been portrayed in various ways. It often symbolizes the human struggle with anger and the consequences of letting anger control one's actions. Understanding these references can enrich your interpretation of various works of English literature and media. In contemporary English, Referring to someone's anger as a sin of wrath is a dramatic and somewhat archaic way of emphasizing the severity or moral implications of their anger. It's not commonly used in everyday conversation but might be found in formal or literary contexts. I hope this exploration of the sin of wrath has been enlightening. Remember, language is not just a tool for communication. It's a gateway to understanding cultures and histories. Keep exploring and enjoying the journey of learning English. See you in the next video.